State of the Union for the sneaker culture. So, I guess that's what we finna watch. I'ma watch it with y'all. It's said to come on like a few minutes, so we got some time. We can talk. But look, I don't know what you gonna talk about. All I know is this nigga better than Scush. Here you go. Have fun. He better this stuff. This Travis Scott shit. And the little nigga better this stuff. Why the fuck? Sneakers at. Said I was broke. Well, I'm not. Processing payment. My ass. That shit was bullshit. Now, as the president of the culture, this motherfucker better have a good excuse. Uh, I just got the notification. It's a goat time. I got my chips. I don't drink juice no more. I drink water. And uh, we'll get straight into this. So as we proceed, let's see what the motherfucker has to say. Because I want to know. I usually don't watch shit like this. But I figure it's the first time for everything. And that Travis Scott shit pisses me off. So if he wants my vote next term, this motherfucker better address the real situations in the culture. So... Let's get it. Hey, how you doing? Hello. Oh, nice to see you all. Yes, yes, calm down, calm down. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's too high. Really, too high. Um, but yes, I've called this, uh, state of the culture meeting, address, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, because as your president, uh, I've been noticing a lot of problems in the sneaker culture. You got, do I guess mind if I take off, off my, my blazer here? So it's, it's a little toasty. Just a little bit. Oh, no, no need for that. No, no. The president's not packing like he was in the back in the days, <laughs> yeah, but, um, yeah, uh, hey, Bill, you mind holding this for me? Thank you, thank you, buddy. What a champ. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, uh, I am noticing that the sneaker culture is not what it once was. Uh, when I was growing up, back in the 90s, you know, out there moving and shaking, as the young folks would say. Uh, I think I just hit the whoa. Um, it was, it was, it was, it was rather easy to uh, cop a pair of, of, of Jordans or an Adidas sneaker, and uh, they they didn't cost you an arm and a leg either. They're, they're, the, the, the usual price was somewhere in the one hundred dollar range, and um. Back in the day, it was a lot of money, but today, that would be amazing. Can we all agree on that? Yeah, we can all agree. Um, that would be amazing. Um, fast forward to uh, today's current predicament. Um, when you look at the sneaker world, we have a lot of fucking problems. I'm just going to keep it honest. Do you mind? Uh, yeah, I, your president cuss. What do you do? Um, my apologies. Uh, <laughs> we have a, we have a, we have uh, a lot of problems, and 
I would like to address some of these problems. I'm, you know, it, this would take all day, but uh, I, I do have three particular arguments that I, I would like to make. Um, number one, with Nike, uh, fix your app. This is this is rather ridiculous. Uh, you 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 gonna try to buy a shoe? And I understand raffles, and you know, I, I participated, I, 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 I participated, believe me, you're president of the sneakerhead, and I love shoes, and you know, it's just, it's just a good feeling to get a brand new pair of J's, and you smell them, especially those Jordan 1's, ah, you think the president didn't know, and pull the wool over my eyes, that's for sure, uh, but everybody loves that feeling. Sneakers app, you're uh, you're taking away that feeling. Need I say? Uh, for one, you do this raffle system, and the president has never won. Do you believe that? The president of the sneaker culture has never won a single sneakers app raffle. This is beyond me. I can't believe it. Uh. So, my thing is, be sure to distribute the L's sparingly. You know, you could give us a W from just from here and there. Uh, even on, I would say, general releases, I still strike out. Uh, so, sneakers app, fix your app. That Travis Scott situation was beyond me. It was pitiful. Uh, not only did they say they couldn't process my payment and I had to log in multiple times, but you said my credit card was not going through. That's a damn lie. The president has bank. I had the money to buy three or four pair of those shoes. I only wanted one. Only wanted one. Couldn't get it. You, I had to wait 30 minutes to receive my L. 30 minutes. Fix your damn app. Don't put on no more until you fix your damn app. What I recommend is uh, we all go on strike from Sneakers app and uh, until they fix that shit. Uh, sorry. Until they fix it. So that's issue number one in the culture today. Uh, Issue uh, number two. It's something small. It's something that we all we all think in the back of our heads. But uh, these damn companies, you price your your products way too high. You know, Kanye, you're tripping. You're bugging. I don't know what's going on uh, with you and these uh these church services. They look great. They look fun. Uh, I heard you're coming out with a church. Bad move. Uh, I won't be attending, but best of luck to you, my sir. Uh, but Mr. West, $300 for a pair of fucking space boots? That is beyond me. That is pitiful. Uh, retail price is $300. Not $200. Not $250. $300 for a pair of $700 that look like they belong on somebody named Tom Thibodeau's feet. I don't know Tom Thibodeau, I was just saying that it looks like he would buy a pair of these and think they were fresh to death. So what I'm saying, you guys need to lower your prices. And then Jordan brand and Nike, you don't escape either. 250 for a fucking Nike Air on the back? That is beyond me. It's pitiful. You need to be ashamed of yourself. If you didn't have Nike Air, it would be 190 like the rest of them. And 190 is extremely high, but we've let you pass. We've given you a pass. But 190, it's pushing the limits, buddy. We went from $100 to 190 for some trash materials. And you know, you know I'm telling the truth, Nike. You know I'm telling the truth. So, all this sneaker company, Adidas, sometimes you get a pass. Because you make your, some of your shoes are still 100, like the young ones, and 
the Young 96 is, and some of these power phases that are coming out, you know, you know, you guys have a good prices, and sometimes the stuff goes on sale, and it just sits around. So, kudos to you, Adidas. But your Yeezy brand is out of hand. I don't know if you guys control that, or Mr. West does, but somewhere, I need to come together and lower those prices. No one has $300 for a pair of shoes. And if they do, it is beyond me. So, my last and final one, after we've talked about sneakers app getting their life together, and these companies getting their prices together, I would like to talk about the big thing in the sneaker culture. You guys know what it is. I know what it is. We're talking about resale. Resale, resale, resale. Resale is ridiculous. Resale is breaking my pockets. But not only that, it's not only that resale prices are through the roof sometimes, it is you can't even buy a pair of shoes for retail because resellers are going on here with these bots buying up all the shoes. It is beyond me. Okay? Can't fathom. It used to be back in the day, if you wanted shoes, you weren't nervous about getting them, you weren't scared that you weren't going to get them. You just went to the store, picked them up, and loved those pair of shoes. Things sat around, and if it didn't, you still had ample time to get your hands on a pair of shoes that you really wanted. Now, the way the sneaker coach is headed, nothing sits on shelves. You can't try a shoe on to save your life. If you need to know a size, you better know how to Google. And that's a week before the release. You better know how to use Google, and you better know that sometimes Google might not. Hey, this is where the culture is right now, and that is where I am addressing it. So, that being said, y'all resellers are out of hand. You're out of pocket, as new kids would say. Whoa, you're out of pocket. Dial it back some. Um, those Travis Scott's, you know what? Put the put the picture. I provided you guys with a picture. Media. Did you get it? Yeah, you got it. Okay. The picture. This is ridiculous. Why do you need this many pairs of Travis Scott's? Just a reseller. I understand the resellers have. It's a Travis Scott sneaker. I understand. It's a very high price high value shoe it's not even a high price 175 that is lovely for my pockets in my bank account but that being said resellers like this guy over here he makes it hard for, for very good honest people like yourself and myself to buy pairs of shoes like the Scots because he has full intent of not even wearing one pair of these shoes that you see over here it is ridiculous. I have to say it. As the president of the sneaker culture, I have to say it. Absolutely ridiculous. You guys buy the shoe, don't care anything about the shoe. You just want it to make profit off of it. That is not what the sneaker culture is for. The sneaker culture is for those who love shoes and wear their shoes. Just because a shoe has some hype around it, you guys go out here and attack it like vultures, picking them clean, and then regurgitating it for $500, $600. This is ridiculous. You guys should be ashamed of your damn self, and there's other ways to make money than off the innocence of the sneaker cultures and, and the people that really love shoes. This, this is ridiculous. I feel bad coming on here and even have to say this to a bunch of grown men and women. Because it's not only men that's reselling. It's just we did not 
have a picture of a woman reseller. But I'm pretty sure there's some out there. I'm pretty certain. But y'all too grown to be doing stuff like this. Taking advantage of people that only really want a shoe because they like it. Some people are just Travis Scott fans. And I know I'm using the Travis Scotts as an example, but it's a great example because I took an L, okay? I'm, I'm a little hurt. I'm a, I Personally, I'm a little disappointed because I felt like there was a shoe that I could have had. But two things did, two things changed that. Sneakers app and you damn resellers. This is beyond me. So what I want to say and in this video, in this state of the culture address, resellers, there's other ways to make money. You know what? Go sell some crap. You want to profit so bad? I'll call the president. I don't really like him like that, but I'll call his ass and tell him we got a few crack pushers, a few, few sneaker resellers turn crack pushers, and they just want to make some money. So could you please ease up police patrols on these crack pushers? Because they're just trying to make a dollar and I need them out of my culture. If crack is too hard for you, get a damn job. Everybody's hiring these days because everybody's quitting. Everybody. Everybody can do something. That's all I'm saying. Everybody can do something. And I don't want to hear that you make good money off reselling. Some, we haven't had great drops in a few years. So I know your pockets is hurting. I don't know who you're getting these pairs from specifically and who is your plug, but this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous and it, it should not be going on any longer. As the president of Sneak Coach, we're cracking down on you resellers. So from now on, we catch you reselling, banned. We're banning your sneakers account, your Foot Locker account, your Foot Action account, your Champs account. All of it. Banned. One year ban. We catch you reselling. Trust me, we will catch you. Don't worry about how I have my agents on it. So as the president of the sneaker culture, these are just the three things that really are standing out in my mind. I've been talking with my cabinet about it and, and they agree that these are problems in the culture and uh, they told me I, I had to come on here. So I took time out of my schedule to make sure I came and addressed you all. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them in the uh, uh, description below or uh, uh, email me. Um, and yeah. I hope you all have a great night. Have fun. Go buy you some shoes. And uh, I will see you guys on the next State of the Culture Address. This is your president. I'm signing out. Alright, so. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm voting for this nigga next year. I mean, he, he, he talks a good game. But, I don't know, man. I don't know. That shit was bullshit, like he said. But look, me and Lo sat here and watched it, and uh, what you think about it? It was all right. You just hungry? Yeah, I feel you. That shit was kind of long. Go play. Go have fun. Go explore. But, yeah, man. Hopefully, sneaker apps get their shits fixed and blah, blah, blah. And you know what? I'm still in skip mode. Fuck it. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed that fucking video. <laughs> that little state of the culture shit. I know it was something different um, and everything, but. 
it was just a funny way to address the bullshit that's been going on and shit that's been on my mind for a very long time. This video, I have been thinking about doing for a minute. And I talked to the homie Jay Adams, which he has a fire ass album out, by the way. I should have just bought it called Super. Y'all gotta support that shit. I'll put, I put the link in the description. That shit is fire. He gave me an early listen, bro. But that shit is fuego, I'm telling you, bro. Needless to say, we had a conversation about this. And I was like, man, I'm glad you feel the same way. And I'm pretty sure there's millions of other people that feel the same way I do. Um, and yeah, I, I have to make this video. It might not reach a lot of people. But at the same time, fuck it. I know y'all thinking the same shit I'm thinking in this video. So, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and that like button for me. Um... And subscribe to the channel so you too can join the motherfucking God Squad. You already know you're the best squad. Hey! <laughs> Biting on shit. <laughs> join the God Squad is the best squad on YouTube. She be fucking me up. Um, Konnichiwa, motherfucker. All that good shit. Uh, if you don't follow me on anything, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snaps, and Snapchat. All of that at jdiggy92. I'm sorry. Being around her is like having a little fucking kid. Um, jdiggy92. Uh, shout out to the art page from that guy, Masterpieces. Shout out to that gaming channel, Savage Guy Gaming. We be playing games and shit. Um, and yeah, man, I'm going to get y'all up out of here. Thank you for staying to the end. Make sure you hit the thumbs up if you at least laughed a little. Uh, Especially for that weak ass voice <laughs> impression shit. That fake ass Obama impression I tried to give off. That sound like a country ass Obama. But uh that was like my Brian Gumble voice. But uh yeah man, I'ma get y'all up out of here. I gotta take her for a walk and uh yeah, I love y'all like I always say, I will see y'all. When I see day, it's never enough time, especially when you gotta work a job that you hate And all you wanna do is paint, living in a small space Not enough room to breathe, not enough room to leave Equipment up, it sucks when you gotta live that way I used to do YouTube back in the day Got pretty big, had 44k subscribers But I left it all behind, bruh, hit a low point